السلام علیکم ٹو ایوری ون ویلکم ٹو دا اسٹار ڈیلٹا چینل آئی ایم انجینئر حسین اقبال ٹوڈے آئی ایم پرنگ ٹو آل آف یو این ادر مائی لیکچر ویڈیو آئی ہوپ یو ول انجوائے مائی دس پی ایل سی لرننگ سیریز ویڈیو ان دس لیکچر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو شو یو اسپیشلی دس مائی ویڈیو از اسپیشلی فار دا آٹومیشن انجینئرس الیکٹریکل انجینئرس اور الیکٹرانکس انجینئرس دا وٹ از کرائٹیریا سلیکشن آف دا پی ایل سی اف یو آر گوئنگ ٹو یوز ان یور انڈسٹریل ایپلیکیشن پروجیکٹس سو دیٹس وائی آئی ہیو ٹو میک دس ویڈیو ٹو آل آف یو آئی ہوپ یو ول انجوائے مائی دس ویڈیو and uh, first of all uh, uh, the main contents um, before selection criteria of PLC uh, for your uh, project uh, there are the um, uh, contents how to selection a PLC um, which will uh, uh, I discussed in other new slides upcoming so the another is uh, the criteria selection of PLC and uh, uh, the power source required for the PLC the number of IOs um, how to uh, select which model in which uh, or uh, uh, your uh, application depends on the number of uh, inputs and outputs uh, the communication protocols and uh, physical environment CPU speed of, of PLC is very important thing and the uh, application requirements of PLC operator interface uh, device vendor support of automation I will uh, uh, describe each and everything uh, in the upcoming slides Uh, so guys the first factor how to choose a PLC um, at the start uh, keep in your mind you have to ensure about at this um, mechanical side and the electrical side uh, what about the mechanical side um, the first um, first of all you have uh, to your um, project is finalized uh, from the um, uh, architect or um, fabricated your uh, mechanical um, portion so the electrical means the uh, you have uh, to um, pre-plan to have to set your goal uh, which will your requirements required in your projects um, either Uh, you have to um, uh, detail IOs uh, you will use in your system or analog input and outputs uh, you will have to uh, choose for your application so this is an important thing ke uh, keep in your mind um, so uh, what's your uh, need um, as per your um, uh, requirements so uh, if you um, uh, select the wrong PLC you will be I think you will be uh, fail to choose the right PLC so uh, the important another important uh, thing uh, you have to choose the right PLC and so, so um, before choose the right PLC you uh, have to ensure about uh, the um, first of all uh, the um, uh, requirements uh, and finalize uh, the goals uh, at the mechanical electrical side it is necessary uh, to understand the various criteria involved in it so guys <coughs> there are the important factors uh, involved to selecting a PLC so first of all mm, I uh, uh, here mentioned Um, power source required for the PLC, number of IOs, communication protocols, uh, physical env environment, CPU, um, speed of PLC, application requirements of PLC, operator interface, device, vendor support, automation, it's very necessary. The 
power source. Uh, this is a first and important uh, factor uh, to selection of PLC, which uh, your uh, requirement um, either um, 24 volt DC or 230 volt uh, DC supply for the PLC. So this is very important thing. Uh, so the um, another or uh, widely uh, electrical panels inside the SMPs uh, for the field instruments widely used um, in the industrial environment so the SMPs uh, is a reliable source for the instrument field so keep in your mind um, before selection of PLC before implement to p uh, for PLC first of all you uh, um, uh, you provide the individual source for the uh, PLC either 220 uh, 4 volt input or 230 um, uh, volt AC is depend your um, model of PLC and uh, another um, uh, is uh, the field instrument for the field instrument you have to separate your um, um, uh, power supply uh, and uh, the SMPs are the best uh, uh, power supply uh, uh, in widely used in the industrial application. So, guys, uh, the another important factor: the number of input and outputs during selection of PLC is uh, very essential uh, to know about. Um, uh, um, number of uh, input and outputs or which type of um, either digital input outputs on the analog input outputs uh, here um, I uh, show you in this uh, picture uh, the inputs thermocouple uh, analog outputs analog inputs here are the expansion cards of the IO section so this very important thing keep you in mind uh, so either uh, if uh, you uh, the your system requirement is limited a uh, number of IOs you have to choose a compact type PLC and you have a large number of um, IOs requirement or um, either uh, digital or analog you have to uh, implement the modular type of PLC so um, uh, guys and um, even the expansion modules are not enough to fulfill the number then choose that PLC which support a higher number of IOs so uh, oh this is a very important uh, factor uh, before selection criteria of PLC communication protocol so guys um, the uh, there are uh, many communication protocols you can say the uh, <coughs> soft protocol so um, or bus uh, RTU device net profi bus ethernet profi net uh, can bus open a uh, more but as key these are the uh, communication proper protocol uh, you can uh, choose in your um, uh, either DCS or SCADA system so uh, these are the very important uh, communication protocols used for uh, the networking as well <laughs> so guys uh, the if you talk about the uh, field devices that communication on um, uh, soft protocols rather than hard protocols, uh, digital or uh, analog IOS, the HMI, SCADA, VFT, and some other um, type of graphical devices use these uh, protocols to enhance uh, your application. So, uh, by using these uh, communication protocols, uh, you have to control and monitor from the uh, re remote uh, distances so uh, this is a very important uh, factor uh, 
so guys uh, physical environment uh, important factor uh, so never been uh, negligible uh, before selection of the PLC the most PLC implemented uh, those area where um, uh, the ambient temperature and the high humidity level range is uh, existing uh, so if you talk about the Pakistan so there are the many um, uh, uh, areas um, uh, where uh, the harsh environment existing so um, keep, in, uh, keep in your mind uh, before selection of PLC the you have to select the uh, total level um, um, ranges uh, of the PLC which will implement the uh, rough location uh, or the uh, where ambient temperature high material level uh, existing so mm, this is very essential to uh, select those PLC which will uh, never um, be an issue in the future so the PLC use must uh, with stand such changes uh, so every PLC comes with operating ranges in its, its specification and it allows the maximum tolerable ranges that uh, it can withstand so you have to choose those PLC um, which have the maximum tolerable ranges there are uh, so many options in the market uh, speed of CPU is a very important role uh, before selection of um, uh, the PLC so there are uh, many uh, application where high speed um, uh, input counters and the uh, high speed outputs um, uh, using so uh, the first of all um, I have to show you the PLC scan cycle what's the purpose of the PLC scan cycle and so uh, this is very important thing uh, to selection of uh, the CPU uh, of the PLC the uh, first of all understand the PLC scan cycle now what is a PLC scan cycle the uh, basically this is the uh, uh, cycle uh, to read inputs to the update outputs so uh, here um, I can show you uh, if uh, you implement the uh, um, program uh, yeah, so uh, download the program in PLC so first of all the um, uh, CPU reads the input and uh, uh, execute the program diagnose the communication between the um, field devices then update the output so this cycle time this um, uh, minimum cycle scanning time uh, uh, is called the uh, um, uh, speed of the CPU uh, so the usually <coughs> uh, first of all uh, uh, the check also the processing speed of the CPU scan time so usually 0.5 to 50 millisecond scan time um, um, yeah, the uh, PLC uh, which have um, the uh, specification of the CPU to the 10,000 milliseconds in the um, if you talk about the modular PLC or um, uh, high performance uh, PLC so uh, in this uh, time the Yokogawa is a uh, uh, Japanese PLC F A M 3 V is a high performance PLC uh, with the uh, world faster CPU scanning speed and uh, capable of uh, scanning uh, one leg step pro uh, program in one millisecond so I hope uh, understand uh, what which I talk about the speed of CPU so guys uh, 
application requirement of PLC if the application demands some special type of programming um, uh, and the PLC has dedicated libraries uh, for that that choose that one so this will make programming easier as well as cater to your specific demand in running the whole operation of the machine operator interface very important factor uh, so uh, if you talk about the operator interface um, first come into your mind the uh, human machine interface HMI so if the machine uh, operator uh, required the graphical display so definitely um, he uh, he can control itself from PLC uh, the whole operation of the machine so the, the uh, there are uh, the many brands of uh, PLC available in the market or the uh, uh, another uh, hand uh, you can design your own um, uh, HMI software on the uh, Win Explorer uh, software so it depends on your um, awareness uh, so uh, for the uh, HMI uh, control operation uh, definitely uh, you can uh, um, use uh, which PLC which support the communication protocol to interface uh, with HMI devices so uh, the uh, benefit of the HMI devices uh, you can um, uh, control easily um, the whole operation of the machine as a remote uh, remote distance from the control room and uh, uh, less uh, troubleshooting uh, in this system very reliable as comparatively the hardware system uh, like of um, um, uh, panels electrical panels uh, have a lot of uh, push buttons um, uh, mounted uh, on the panels and in this um, type of uh, control uh, you uh, will uh, face the many issues regarding the hardware system so the uh, this era is a very vast uh, technology of uh, PLC available in the market so by using this uh, you can um, uh, more reliable uh, uh, you make the system more reliable so the operator ensure about the basic operation we start stop and the reset buttons so this is very ancient uh, I think is essential part uh, after selection of uh, PLC automation vendor support first of all must be ensured that the manufacturer or the vendor uh, has a large uh, the number of support base so uh, it's very essential before um, uh, uh, buying the PLC and uh, very important role uh, before selection of PLC so uh, the another thing proper pricing and store te technical uh, team support uh, which faces uh, challenges and uh, which uh, deals uh, issues regarding uh, you which uh, you will um, face in the future after installation of PLC or another hand uh, if uh, you mm, you belong uh, to the uh, organization you must have the uh, your um, automation team um, if the vendor uh, support is uh, tech, uh, not uh, giving the technical uh, team to resolve your issue so these are the essential factor for selecting the PLC